Hey everybody, I know it's been a while since I've done a video, but I just got back from a trip to the Centennial Trail in South Dakota. I intended to do the whole thing uh, with my son, but we ended up pulling out about halfway. But if you don't know about the Centennial Trail, I would really suggest you take a look at it. This could be a great first through hike for somebody, which is why I brought my son. Um, it's about 123 miles. It's never real tough. The climbs aren't too long and they're never too steep. So this is a good trail for you to uh, check out. But since I just got back last night and I'm getting ready to put my pack away, I thought I would do a quick gear video of what I took and give you a few comments on it. So um, let's go ahead and start on the outside. First thing I have up top here, I always have a uh, pad. This is the 1 8 inch, I think, Gossenberg gear um, pad. I've, this is the same one I took on the Colorado Trail a couple years ago. I've tried a bunch of different ones and I really like this one. It's held up really well. Um, I do carry trekking poles with me for my tent and I also use them. These are black diamond, I think the cork grip ones, awesome poles. Um, I've used the Cascades before, a Mountain Tech. My son had those and what I noticed this time that drove me nuts, the Cascade Mountain Techs are really, they rattle a lot every time you put them down. Every time I put my black diamonds down, they were fine, but I could always hear where my son was behind me, which was a good thing. On the front of my pack, I carried a pair of just minimal sandals put on at night. These are some type of zero ones. They're not the trail, they're the more uh, just simple paracord. They're super light, they're easy to put on, take off. They were great for water crossing. I really like these a lot. And the outside for water, I have the Sawyer um, water filter. I carried two three not C knock three liter bags just so um, because it was my son and I. I ended up using one of the three liters two times for additional uh, water carry when we were going to dry camp, and that was really nice. Um, even though it was working pretty good, it slowed down on me. So I'm not just I'm not sure if that's how I was doing the system. Um, sometimes I do a gravity fed, other times I squeeze. I don't like to squeeze, but the gravity fed didn't work very well this time. Um, but usually the soya is pretty good. I, maybe I didn't treat it well enough um, when I put it away or didn't prep it enough when I got out. Pretty good. Um, the other thing in here, I have a first aid kind of kit. It has some band-aids, a bunch of pills, um, toothbrush, toothpaste, stuff, stuff like that. Nothing too exciting. Um, what else? Oh. This is my day, no, no, this is my poop kit. Um, I just switched this time. I used to use the Deuce of Spade or the third Deuce of Spade, but I switched this time to a um, titanium, oh, this is my son's, not mine. Uh, my son had the Deuce of Spade. I switched to the Vargo um, trowel this time, or actually Amazon knockoff. I really like that so much better. I don't think I'll ever go back to the Deuce of Spade. It's really comfortable to handle hand uh, handle and it cuts very well we also use mylar bags i got off of amazon to put waste toilet paper in i put them in a doggy bag and then put them in here which kept them very well um and here also i have my rain outfit this is an or helium 2 uh, top and pants i've had this for a couple years um i've got caught in it in a couple days in colorado um, I wanted the Colorado Trail and it held up pretty good. I didn't need to get it out once this trip was really nice. Oh, here's my poop kit. Let me show you that trowel. My son carried his. We just kind of shoved everything back in when we were getting back in the car. But here is that, um, the new trowel I have. Really, really comfortable hold, sharp for cutting, digs really go. I recommend this highly. It's the Vargo is the main brand. I got the Amazon one for a couple bucks cheaper, but really good. That's all my front pocket. In the side pocket here, I carry my daily food bag. I would generally set this up the night before so I didn't have to deal with it. It has snacks, lunches, all that stuff. I like it. Um, I also had in the side here, my Patagonia Houdini jacket, which I normally love. Actually, I always love it, but I never used it on this trip. It wasn't, um, that cold in the morning, so I didn't really need it, but that is a great piece of gear. Other side, I always carry in, uh, my second one liter smart bottle. And then I had, 
Just a little microfiber cloth for wiping off the tent if I needed it. I only had to do that the first morning. And then I also used the dryer feet when we did river crossings. Um, a bunch of hand sanitizer which came in good. My traveling buddy Archie there. And then on the front, I've got a couple things. I have a nice bandana for wiping sweat as always. I have a basically a shoulder strap mounted water bottle carrier. Um, I made these, I think there's a video on my channel somewhere how to make these, but I really like it. Um, and then I just use a sport cap and put a uh, one quarter inch piece of PVC tube in there. I don't even have to take this out to sip. I'm really lazy that way. And then I also on this side had a um, holder I made for my cell phone. I had earbuds in here, which I never used. And then for communication, I used the Zolio. Um, this works really good. Most days I could get some uh, signal on the Centennial Trail, but it wasn't always guaranteed. Um, so that worked really good. Front left hip box is where I put all my snacks during the day, or at least enough to get me to lunch. And then the right side is just miscellaneous stuff I have in here. A pair, a pair of sunglasses, which I ended up using because my trekking poles, one well, my right hand, the trekking pole, had a little burr or something that was, was driving me. Always carry an extra smart water bottle cap because I tend to lose them. Um, and then I had bug juice. Didn't need it at all on the Centennial. Very few mosquitoes. You got a couple bites, but nothing bad. Sunscreen, should have used it, but I didn't. Um, and then I carry a decent Swiss Army knife with knife. I think it has two blades, scissors, stuff like that. I like my Swiss Army knives. I won't do away with them. I know some people don't like them. They get away with the small ones. Great. I just like having a knife. Um, the pack, by the way, is the HMG Southwest. I think it's like the 3400 uh, medium. Great pack. It's the NEMA fabric. Um, I always debate between this and my ULA, I think, cattles. I chose this one for this trip because it's waterproof. Um, and I don't have to have a liner in it. Inside, we'll pretend this came out. I would carry my tent. I'm not going to take this out right now, but this is the Durston Gear, the X Mid Two Person. I'm still on the fence about this test, this tent for my use. It worked really good. It was very spacious, but sometimes it's a little difficult to set up. And once you get it set up, you can't lift it up and move it like you can a freestanding tent. So I might be keeping this. I might be selling this and looking for something else. But for a freestanding tent, also to me it feels a little heavy for not having any poles. I have my in there. I had I needed four MSR mini groundhogs and then two titanium hooks to set it up with, and then I brought extras of those. For food, nice thing about the Centennial Trail, bears are not a problem there. Um, so you don't need a bear canister. You don't really need an earth sack. Um, I brought two of these along. These are the Granite Gear 16 liter zip ditties or something like this. Both myself and my son carried one. And inside each of them, we put our food in an OPSEC bag. Um, a couple of long handle titanium sporks in there. Um, we each had one just because we were compacting. My kit was a, I think it was a Mount Bell. Um, pot I got years ago is a little 1.3 liter something like that 1.4 um, for the stove I use the MSR pocket rocket um, great stove always reliable um, so that was pretty good I was enjoyed that um, my new piece of gear that I came across uh, this last year it's the Patagonia R1 air hoodie this thing is awesome um, I actually have two of these. I brought this one on. Um, this is a great piece of gear. I wear it all the time. Um, I have the regular R1 hoodie. Um, I hardly ever wear that. I should probably sell it. Um, but this one is great. So I highly recommend it. <coughs> I also bought this is a GSI um, basically insulated mug. I think it holds about four cups of water. Mainly use this for measuring out water. Okay. And then once I got my food rehydrated, I would let it sit in here. Um, I know a lot of people like those food cozies, but I never have a problem with my food getting cold. It's always, I'm waiting for it to cool down. So that worked good for me. Um, this is what I kept, this is my big ditty bag. Inside here I had a bunch of different stuff. I had, first had a electronics bag, which had a, it took a 1500 charge uh, power bank. I also had 
uh, my charger for my um, GoPro. I brought five batteries with me and in six days I only used three of them so I was pretty happy with that. I am headlamp. I used it twice I think to write in my tent at night in my journal but never needed it. It's a Nikkor NU25. It's the older one. I really like this one. Um, my other one was starting to fall apart so I ordered a second one of these before you can't find them anymore versus the new one but this one is really good it has a modified headband on it um, in here I also have the corkology ball for kind of rubbing feet arms whatever hurts um, one of my favorite piece of gear that I will never go backpacking with again is my air pump this is a flex flex tail trail pump I hate blowing up uh, air mattresses at the end of the day. I won't do it anymore. So I have, I brought this. I also brought two adapters, one for my son's Big Agnes and then one for my Thermarest. It lasted us, uh, I think, six nights of camping, um, two, blowing up two air mattresses, and I still have plenty of battery juice in there. I did bring a bear hanging kit, which I use only the first day. And like I said, it wasn't for bears. It was to keep the... Uh, food off the ground so I didn't have rodents in there. A lot of people I talked to just slept within their tent, but I didn't want to risk putting a new hole in my brand new tent that I just used. Um, I also brought dice. My son and I made up some dice games and Pass the Pigs, which you never end up playing. And then I have a little kind of repair kit. It has an extra lighter in here. It has chlorine or bleach for drops and then some tenacious tape. So that was always in there. Everything was in there real nice. Um, my sleeping bag i'll pull it out real quick this is the enlightened equipment i can never remember if it's the revelation or the other one it's the one that has the zippered foot box <coughs> 20 degree quilt i got it off of mass drop years ago i really really like this quilt if i were to buy another one i'd probably go with enlightened equipment again i just want to get the zipper i never unzip this thing um i do however ever use the straps i strap this to my mat every night and it does seem to help uh, my son especially likes that on his quilt different type of quilt but he likes that ability um i brought a journal i also use a tyvek i've been using these tyvek envelopes from post service keeps it nice and dry in there and then i have the thermos i think and the neo air it's the older model this is the 20 by Oh, 60 something, not quite six feet. Um, this is probably the women's one. I got it used. Great pad. Uh, I don't think it's too crinkly. And then my final thing, two things. One, I brought my Patagonia. This is the Nano Puff jacket. I've taken this on every big trip I've done. It's great. I wore it once. I probably could have just done with the Patagonia R1 hoodie, but you never know what the temperature is going to be early in June. It could be really warm. It could be really cold. We only got rained on once, and that was at night for an hour or two. It was really nice, but we never really needed it. As far as clothes that I packed, this is a Hilberg or something like that. Um, it's the nice shape, so it fits right in your back. Kind of like the HMG, but not that even it's pretty cheaper. Um, I have a self-stuffing pillow. I don't like the inflatable ones, so I just put my... Um, Patagonia Nano Puff in there. I always bring leggings. These are or not leggings. I should say long johns. These are the 32 degree heat. Um, it never got cold, but what I notice when I sleep, my legs get really sweaty, and it keeps me up all night. So I just use these. My favorite hoodie that I wore all except for last day is the uh, Mountain Hardware, the Crater Lake hoodie. I wore this, and then I had the last day switch to an OR Echo hoodie. I can definitely say that I prefer the Crater Lake. It has a better feel. It's a little bit looser feeling on me. It's uh, really, really, really good. I highly recommend that. Um, I bought, brought one buff. I actually picked up another one. We were in Custer State Park just for a souvenir. An old gold light fleece hat, nothing special. Um, I started off wearing these shorts that I picked up at Sierra. Um, they were comfortable and they're comfortable day hikes, but what I don't like, the waistband's a little bit thick um, and it tends to bunch up. So I ended up going with my old standby Patagucci's that I bought at a thrift store um, years ago and it saw me through the Colorado Trail. Uh, I brought one extra pair of ex officio briefs. Um, I brought a knee brace just in case, didn't need that. 
Um, we did, my son managed to roll his ankle, so I did use the ankle brace. And the last piece of gear that I brought were a pair of tights that I ended up never wearing because it wasn't that cold. Um, so that's pretty much everything in my kit. Oh, last thing is I did bring a fanny pack and main reason for this was I carried my GoPro in it. Made it really nice and easy. The other thing I had in here was a section of Nat Geo maps I make for the Santana Trail and then a cheat sheet um, I got off the Facebook group. And then I could just leave that in here. Had my phone in here, not my phone, my car key in here for a while. And then the front, I keep my batteries. And since I'm getting old, a pair of glasses. All right, guys, that's everything I took. It's not lightweight, but it's what works for me. I don't think there's anything too much that I might change out. I think for the rest of summer, I'd either probably go with the Air One hoodie or the Nano Puff. Probably not both of them, unless we're getting up in some much higher elevation. All right, guys, if you have any questions about my gear or the Centennial Trail, if you want to leave them down below in the comments, I'll try to get back to them. Um, I'm going to try to put together a Centennial Trail first half video uh, as soon as I get motivated to do that. All right, guys, if you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, we'll see you later and hike on.